What is up everybody, the Young Highland Lad here, and today I'm going to be showing off a couple new goodies for you, including the new MSI GTX 1060 video card, and the Oculus Rift, which we will be looking at momentarily, okay? It was time to jump into the world of VR finally, it's something I have been very excited to delve into for quite some time now. I definitely need a video card upgrade. Um, my current one that this is going to be replacing is the PNY GTX 770. That card has held up very well over the years. I bought it, well, three and a half years ago now um, for the gaming rig that I built at the time, primarily for Battlefield 4. Okay, it's run other titles throughout, including The Witcher 3, The New Doom, several other titles very well. I could not complain about that card, okay? One issue that I did start to have over time, especially since, you know, you delve into overclocking and so forth, it did run start to run uh, very hot, and you can noticeably see uh, that the performance was starting to deteriorate slightly, so it was time to upgrade anyway, and you're probably wondering why I went with this particular model in the first place. Aside from it looking absolutely badass, um, MSI is a brand I've trusted for various components for quite some time now. The cooling system that they've implemented into this new card and this new lineup on there and it is top notch if you ask me. I mean, there's several other cards that you know are, are that do outperform it, but I wanted to give this one a shot. I feel like most of the cards being reviewed now are you know the, the 1080 on up, not too many of the uh, mid grade ones. All right, I'm very excited to test this one out, especially the software implementation that MSI provides with its video card lineup as well. Okay, I'm very excited to test this out. It'll, from what I understand online, it runs great with VR and most modern games too, especially the ones that I just mentioned a little while ago. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get this puppy open. Here is the card itself. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Very cool. I can't wait to see this in action with the LEDs on. Okay, there's the bottom. I do like how they shielded the bottom. How many cards are doing that these days? Okay, take a look at the ports there. Let's try to get a little zoom in on that there. Just to focus in on a little bit. There we go, okay. So obviously you have your DVI-D, okay. You have three display ports and your HDMI. Very simple. All right. PCI Express slot. That's PCI Express 3.0, obviously backwards compatible. Here we are, everybody. The Oculus Rift. It's a pretty uh, big box, so sorry if it's covering up the entire screen there. Um, so, you know, let, let's talk about virtual reality a little bit and what really sparked my interest. Um, you know, back in, gosh, 2003, I want to say, what really, you know, took this concept off for me personally was actually watching the anime uh, Dot Hack Sign, which if you haven't seen it or heard of it, it's a show about this kid named Tsukasa who's, who's stuck in an MMO called The World. Um, he's unable to log out. He's, um, he's trying to piece together his memory, find out what happened and what happened to his physical body outside of the world as to why he's unable to log out and seemingly trapped in this virtual world. Um, in the show, the players who play are using a virtual reality headset that encompasses their entire field of view. At the time, that just blew my mind, you know, to think of that concept of having this headset on that would, you know, immerse you so heavily into a certain game, into, you know, any first-person game, to make you really feel, you know, enveloped into it and just, you know, swallowed up into this crazy world that you can explore and regardless of the game. It was just, it blew my mind as a kid. And, you know, I, it's funny, I actually did some research at the time to see, you know, what technology was available at, you know, that, you know, that could allow me to do this. And at the time, you know, there were headsets out there. Um, they were not made for gaming, mostly for just like personal, you know, use for watching movies and stuff. Um, they weren't that great. Quality was pretty horrible. They were very res low resolution screens and so forth. So I was kind of bummed about that. But, you know, I do think they still serve a certain purpose. You know, they were still a stepping stone forward into the world of virtual reality and these types of uh, headsets, this, these new pieces of hardware, including the Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive, the PlayStation VR, and 
a lot of the third-party headsets that are coming out there too that um, not a lot of people you know talk about. Um, you know, I think in terms of gamers, I think the most noticeable uh, piece of hardware that sparked the concept of virtual reality was the Nintendo Virtual Boy, which <laughs> didn't do too well at the time. I remember using one when I was a kid at when I was at a Toys R Us, and it, it really, you know, it, I thought it was cool. It didn't really blow my mind at the time, but you know, look how far we've come. All right, I mean, the, to be able to play, you know, so many games available now. Yes, I mean, content is still being developed and coming out. But even outside of games, such as the ones that come with the Oculus Rift, I mean, this has been, you know, the the headset themselves are, are being used in a variety of environments and industries, you know, including the medical field. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a hilarious um, YouTube stream of this guy playing a, a medical a surgery a simulator, and he's just, oh my god, it's hilarious. Just go check it out. So um, that's one thing, you know, these being used in the fields of engineering and even, you know, art. There's, you know, virtual, like, you know, 3D streets where you can, you know, spray graffiti on the walls and create art and stuff like that. It's just, it's so incredibly cool. And outside of gaming, I mean, you're also looking at, um, you know, the social aspect of it. There's um, entire 3D, you know, like uh, communities being created for like chatting and stuff like that, where you can make a, you know, an avatar and just go into virtual chat rooms, you know, chat with other people in regards to, you know, whatever the topic is at hand, which I think is just amazing. You know, it blows my mind. It's it's a very exciting industry. Yes, it's still in its first generation, so there's obviously tons of room for improvement. You know, the screen in the Oculus Rift, you know, a lot of people complain about the low resolution. It's not a 4K, you know, it's you get the screen door effect. And you know, it's, for someone like me, I mean, that's okay. It's still a step forward in this, you know, crazy, you know, world, This, you know, where there's endless opportunities. Um, in terms of, like I said, in games and different various industries and so forth, and even just like, you know, being social online, you know, I think this is a huge step forward, um, not just virtual reality, but also augmented reality, AR, and uh, most notable that we've seen lately is actually Pokemon Go, where you can play on your phone and you catch Pokemon and have them like pictured like sitting on your friend's head or something like that. So, again, it's a very exciting industry. Um, I'm so excited to see where it takes off, especially with a lot of these independent developers, where they where they take off with, uh, with this hardware. You know, the possibilities are endless. It's this is the future of gaming, if you ask me, and it's also the future of a lot of different aspects of various businesses and also socializing online. So, the other thing I'm very excited is to try out is um, Google Earth in VR. All right, to be able to see a lot of the 3D constructs that uh, Google developed. Um, based off of, you know, real-life monuments and cities and so forth, um, to be able to explore those in VR. Also, again, in fairly early stages, but to be able to just, you know, virtually take a tour of an entire city, that just blows my mind. All right, yeah, I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I'm just, it's something I'm very excited about. All right, leave me alone. So, <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open here, okay? Sorry, the lighting's a little weird. It's the middle of the day. These are the actual Oculus Rift Touch controllers, which, to be perfectly honest, I kind of like a little better than the HTC Vive controllers. Those aren't bad by any means. They just feel like more like remote controls. These are a little more ergonomic, um, and I also like how they have the barriers. So, like, if you're swinging around and stuff, hopefully you don't make any dents in your walls or anything like that. Okay. You have your sensors here, and then of course here's the headset. Very carefully take this out. That wasn't that smooth, but anyway. Here's the front of it. Okay. You have your straps here. You're gonna pop onto the back of your head. I'm not gonna unwrap this too too much just to get the wires out of the way a little bit. Okay. And that's where you're gonna be sticking your eyes and be uh, exploring whatever world you so desire. Now, as mentioned, the uh, sensors are included. Those are for, you know, the system to actually detect your controllers and so forth. They are USB 3.0, so make sure you have, well, technically at least three ports available for the entire system to work, okay? And of course, the Oculus Rift has the HDMI cables attached. They also include the uh, little starter guides here, okay? Uh, little cleaning kit, some, oops, things being thrown around here, some decals. All right, your little manual and some batteries to get you going, okay? All included in the little box here. Okay. Set that aside over here. 
So that's really it, folks. Again, make sure your hardware is up to par. I just reviewed the, 10, the uh, GTX 1060 by MSI a little while ago. So um, yeah, in terms of specs, you want obviously at least Windows 7. Um, you do want, the minimum is the GTX 970 or in terms of AMD for you Radeon people, the R9290. I'm personally an Nvidia guy. So I would recommend if you have the extra money, go with the 1060. Um, it's a little boost um, in performance compared to the 970. You will notice it a little bit differently. In terms of a processor, I'm actually using the AMD 8-core 8350, which has been running great for my, you know, my gaming rig over the past few years. Still going strong. If you're an Intel guy, you want to go with at least the i5-4590. All right, and of course, again, make sure you have the right ports and stuff. It recommends eight gigs of RAM. Uh, again, you know, for certain games, you want at least 16. Again, that's just my personal opinion. RAM is fairly cheap these days, so depending on your rig and the format you need, so. That's it, folks. That's the Oculus Rift itself. Um, brand new out of the box. Again, so excited to start trying it out. Eventually, I promise, I know people have been asking me, when are you going to do more Twitch channel uh, streaming and so forth? I will, I, eventually. It'll be really cool to show you guys some VR um, in my Twitch stream, so we'll see where that goes. I promise I'll get to that eventually. It's, you know, I've been busy. So, <laughs> it's the lamest excuse in the book. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm excited to get into this. I hope you are too. Take care.